hell off of him and it's a strict game at this point. Yeah. No. What is it? About the same as last, last game. When you face a guy against James Harden, obviously draws fouls left and right. Now, what are the challenges what do you guys need to do to try to prevent him from getting into the line as much as he does? Easier said than done. He's, he's a master at it, but you got to do your best to get back, defend as a team, um, limit the amount of reaches. Uh, you know, as I said this morning, we, we always say play with bent limbs and bent wrists um, so that uh, you're not reaching in and kind of that visual of extending the arms on it, which you extend the arm. Overall this season, how do you think you guys have performed in that area and not reaching in? Uh, I mean, sometimes it's a good thing because people don't take advantage of it as much. So, like, it's just personnel based. Um, sometimes you want to play with a hand in or at least mix it up. Uh, but he's good at taking advantage of it right when you do it. I know it's kind of impossible to stop James, but is Marcus kind of maybe uniquely suited to guarding him given his kind of combination of Biggest. size and strength? That that's we got a lot of different guys that will guard him tonight. I don't think this is a one guy guards a guy tonight. I mean, he can pick guards up. Um, he can make it tough. I think it's important to um, play without fouling. Um, and so we'll have a number of guys do that. But Marcus is a really good defender who probably should have been on all defensive teams before and for whatever reason has not been. Um, so maybe if everybody could write a little blurb for him, I think that'd be nice um, because he should be on it every year. He's a great defender. Mike D'Antonio was... How do you defend a team that, I mean, they go through crazy? I mean, you, you are the defender. How do you defend a team that you guys leave ready? But, I mean, when you all five guys go to Capella and shoots threes. I mean, they're um, that, that's the way that they're that's the way that they play, right? So the 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 threat of Capella at the rim doesn't happen without four shooters around. So it all works together. And then when they isolate James, then how much do you help, right? And so you anytime that you played against a D'Antoni team, you know they've got a couple of wings where seventy percent of their shots are more three point attempts. And this team can go off in a hurry. And, um, you know, I think you know, one of the guys off the bench, Gerald Green, I mean, we've all seen that here. Um, he, can get, he can get super hot. House can get hot. You know, obviously, Eric Gordon killed us in this game last year here. Um, and P.J. Tucker is as proficient from the corners as anybody can lead. So um, they've got a lot of guys around him, but it's that spacing is what makes that all work. Thank you.